Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fairly complicated beeper with Microsoft Visual Basics. Now, to, it'll have several options. You'll be able to make a single beep or multiple beeps while hiding it from the task manager and everything. So if someone thinks it has, um, their computer has a virus, it's a pretty cool and harmless prank to pull. So, open up Microsoft Visual Basics 2008, which is what I'm using. The coding is the same if you're using another version, so just try to stay along. Now, go to the top left and click File, and then New Project, and double click Windows Form Application. From here, click, or you'll see Form 1, now click Toolbox, and find button. You can drag or double click. Now this is just going to be single system beep, so you can drag it wherever you want to. We'll go ahead and resize it and make it take up a little bit of space. And if you would like to rename it, make sure you have it clicked and go to the bottom right and find the word text, which is right here, and type in single beep or whatever you want it to be called it really doesn't matter and then if you want to rename the project while you're at it like the form then you can click form one and go to the bottom and find text again and type in beeper now this doesn't have to be the same it doesn't matter what you want to call it and as you can see it has it saved the word beeper single beep so now we're gonna set the properties for the button double click it and then right here type in very simple console dot beep open and close parentheses this is just a simple beep so we're gonna go ahead and test it to make sure we have everything so go up here and find debug and start debugging it'll run this basically runs the program as if you were running it like right off the back I'll let you listen to it it's just a simple beep every time you click the button so now we're going to set up three more buttons, one to start a continuous beep, another to stop it, and then one to hide it from the taskbar. So we'll go ahead or from the task manager. Go ahead and put three on the three buttons on the program. And while you're at it, you're going to need a timer. This will allow the continuous loop of the um, beep. So open the timer and we're going to type in the same thing console dot beep open and close parentheses so now we have that we're going to need to set the buttons to run the timer so double click button 2 and click timer 1 dot enabled space equals space true now you'll go to button three and you can guess what we're gonna type in timer one dot enabled space equals space false now button four this is a little bit different you type in me dot hide and then enter and you will be typing in show and you'll see right here show in taskbar so you type in show in taskbar space equals space false. This will allow you to hide it from the task manager and everything. So now we'll go ahead and give this a try. It's finished. If you want to change colors or whatever, change the button size, or you can add a text box, you know, saying, um, brought to you by whoever, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's easier if you click multi-line and then drag it down here and you can say, you know, um, whoops, you can type in down here, the bottom right hand corner, whatever you want it to say, it's empty, type in brought to you by me. And then now that we have that finished, um, we'll go ahead and try running it debug start debugging I'll let you listen to it and now for the continuous as you can see that can stop it now since I'm running this program directly from Visual Basics I'm gonna show you that it'll beep continuously and it'll be you know nowhere to be seen from the task manager so from here you can um, all you need to do is 
click debug and stop. So we'll go ahead and start this and then hide it. As you can see, it hit it. So now, um, now that we know it works, you have several options. You can save it, or you can go ahead and this is what I like to do. This is how I put them on my website. Click Publish Windows Application, and then a window that looks like this should come up. You can type in this if you want to, and you can just click Desktop Open, then click Next. And I'm going to be opening it from my website, so I'll type. I'll go ahead and type in HTTP. Whoops. hackmypcs.com. Now, it'll be available for download, but I'm going to um, alter the program a little bit and make it a little better. Yes, it'll be available online or offline. Next. This gives you a little information about it. So, we'll click Finish. Now, it has the program set on the desktop. As you can see, it says failed to connect to my web. It, it ju just means it's failed to connect to the website. Um, very common. You might not have the um, file sharing set up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. Now, when you exit, it will prompt you, do you want to save it? And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. It has it. I already have one built. As you can see, Application 3, this is my third. So I'm not going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and discard it. But um, it will save it into a default folder set by um, the op um, sorry by Visual Basics. So if you ever want to run that, you can feel free to. Now. I have, as you can see, not mine. I have this Mario peep that I have set up on my website, and I have um, the chat spammer, which I'll be posting up. As you can see, the application, it'll ask you to verify and install. Just click install. Here the application is, the one that I have. Now, it's very simple. I'll let you listen. As you can see, you can't find it. I'll open up the task manager and it doesn't say anything but the recorder that I'm using so if you want to find it um, you're gonna have fun or it's not har it's not harmful but if it's beeping it is really annoying so they'll think they have a virus or something and as you can see mine is a little different you can set up however you want I'll be posting more tutorials feel free to um, comment or send me any questions thanks for watching